Welcome back to Minecraft with the Flash. I'm being super quiet because there are spiders nearby. How's it going, everybody? It's good to be back with you on the Block Brothers server. Last time, we had our first episode and first two deaths. Basically, thanks to this whole cave ravine system in this area. But I've been busy since then. You can see that uh, my levels are a lot higher. Actually, they were a lot higher than they are right now. Because I got my levels up to 30 in this place. I found uh, the first couple of packs of diamonds exploring some of the cave areas. And I decided I wanted to learn a little bit more about what the other Block Brothers have been doing on the server. So while I continue lighting this up, I'm going to show you a little bit of an early tour of the server with two other Block Brothers. So enjoy this footage. <laughs> All right, we got MGO Sam, we got Virulent Zero, the low score in deaths on the server, and probably played the most so far. So what's the secret? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, is the secret no caving ever? Doing the caving when the server was still set on easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would do it. I don't think I've died in a cave yet, actually. No, I haven't done that much caving. Well, uh, I've died twice in a very dangerous cave. I might show that to you guys in a little bit. But if you want to witness my first enchant on this server, here we go. I've been killed twice by a blaze, once by a drown. Once by a skeleton. And then the fifth one was actually setting up the uh, data pack. Silk Touch, right. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3. Are you serious? I you am serious. That that is mine. You're not you're not having it. Sorry. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> what? I got my that's crazy. Here it is. I'll here. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. I've got efficiency five on breaking, mending, but I don't have any either looting or soap touch. That's pretty good though. Efficiency yeah, five on breaking. It was all trading. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, first, that's pretty good for a first enchant. <laughs> I should probably give it to you. You'll probably make much better use of it than I will now that school has started. Silk touch uh, shovel. All right, uh, so uh, so give me the grand tour here. Um, spawn looks uh, kind of still early stages, but we've got iron collecting over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the quick and dirty farm. Uh, just to give us some. Especially since we have not been doing as much uh, mining. Right, right. So Virulent is also doing a like no mining challenge. So that's why he got the villagers started super quick. All right, show me uh, show me what else is going on. Uh, let's see. Down here is our villager house right now. Just to put them somewhere. That's uh, a lot of villagers. So it's not, <laughs> it, and it's not pretty at all. No, just give, well, just give us time though. We, there yeah. will be, there will be nice things happening. Most of the white coats are unlocked. Uh, we've got a decent mending and unbreaking. Those are two of the more important ones to have. And we've got several 13, 14, 15 uh, vill uh, farmers. Nice. There, so there's a bunch of food trading, which probably brings us to the industrial district. Oh, that sounds like it's up my alley. Do you guys have a better food source than carrots, so, like, lined up? Yeah, I've got uh, three. I've got a pig, cow, and sheep. Matt, uh, entity crammer. I'll show you later. Okay. Maybe we should uh, pull an impulse and make a huge gold farm and do golden carrots. That's awesome. 
<laughs> it was nice to see that he could still break the uh, another uh, roof. Yeah, that was nice, and um, and I love how he built the entire thing between episodes. Yeah, right. Like he signs <laughs> off, and then he and then the next thing we see, he's getting infinite XP. Yeah. Yeah, we're big fans of the Hermitcraft server. I think Virulent now wants to make a chicken <laughs> chicken fountain. I just got a horse head. <laughs> Where did you go? Okay, well, like, we're just spinning in the middle of the ocean. I was and waiting for Sam. MGO oh, Sam is that. nowhere. All right, so off here, offshore, uh, I started Kelp Farm, just a, another small farm. I'm going to turn it into, a, like, an oil rig. Nothing with um, flying machine or anything like that. Just uh, daylight sensors that run pistons. Nice. But I'd like to put a um, furnace, uh, a smelter on it as yeah. well. So industrial is in the savannah here? Yes. And a it's little bit of desert. The desert. Yeah. yeah. So I was just working on this. There was a quick and dirty uh, sugar cane farm here, and I'm converting it into a larger one. You know, with like sugar silos. Nice. Uh, using um, what uh, sticky pistons and slime blocks to push the sugar cane. Again, not a, a flying machine or anything, just to fitting into the the look, the aesthetics. You know, I was uh, fixing enough broken flying machines in the last server that I think your your style might work just fine. <laughs> yeah, I think that once it's up and running, it'll be plenty. It's just not a, a you know a wow factor of the larger farms. Uh, and then this is the food farm area. So these I'm going to get once I get fortune. Uh, I'm going to turn them into quartz to look like green silos. But this is just a villager carrot farm, villager potato farm. Is this using come. the uh, dark spot in the middle with the hopper yeah. underneath? Yep. Uh, with hopper minecarts pushed, or sand pushed into hopper minecarts. Nice. And rates are pretty good as far as I see on other people's videos. Yeah, this... Uh, is doing plenty. I mean, that, um, let's see. I continually steal a row of stacks. Yeah, it's got 20, 20 stacks here. Hmm. And then these are just little piston melon and pumpkin farms. Yeah. So these will end up being pretty tall silos. Yeah, so I figured there's enough space that if we need to do, if we need to stack, we can. Uh, if we don't want to, they can be just one layer, but tall. Yes, I'm going to put another, at least another 10 levels on it. Nice. But uh, depending on the rate that we need, this might be enough with just one. This is a so really I, interesting new texture. Are you guys in the new texture pack? Yeah. This is a case. This is acacia planks. Yep. That looks a <laughs> that looks a lot different than the old one. I should switch. I, I'm I'm uh I'm getting used to the new texture pack. I kind of like it. Yeah. I don't I don't like andesite. It's too blue. No, I, I agree, that. but that might. I like. I'm like hoping the they new, change that. I'm hoping the they change it. The other rack. Yeah. Yep. This the other rack is a, is much better. Yeah, I agree. So I. Th I think one of the um, soon projects is to move the villagers over and get a breeder going over here. Yeah, that would make sense. Up. And so yeah, if, by the food. if that means the villager breeder has to be a little bit away from the farms, right? So yeah, but you could go, you could make it up in the sky if you wanted, or you could make it deep underground to get it away from the farms. Yeah, yep. Or over in that the plains, a little bit of the plains is uh, still industrial, or over here in the savanna somewhere. Okay. Oh, okay. So here we've got an actual 
looking nice house build. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my first shot at something medieval-ish. I'm thinking of making this strip more like a town, right? So I'm going to add a, a smelter and a bunch of houses and try and make it. Uh, I like the roof a lot on this thing. So the roof that's coming is, from someone who is terrible at roofs. I use I'm terrible at roofs. So <laughs> so I messed with that a lot. Yeah, so that's all this is. Oh, I got to update my head collection here. <laughs> Rabbit, pig, golem, horse. And now horse, yeah. There's a sheep one in the spawn. Oh, there. Yeah, uh, nice. So uh, down here, there you've got. Uh, I think there's steak cooking. There's some mutton ready, and then I think that's probably it because I grabbed uh, pork last time. Well, uh, mutton's better than raw carrots. Yeah, grab whatever you need. I need some more food, I think, to breed them up. But take what you want. I'll start with half a stack of mutton. So yeah, my two deaths were both pretty spectacular. Yeah, I can't one, wait of, one of them was a leather helmet wearing enchanted bow skeleton who <laughs> was chasing me next to a creeper and a regular skeleton. And that bow was vicious. I don't know what the enchants were on it, but it was flame and probably power or something. <laughs> and I did have a water bucket, so I put myself out once, and I swear I had my shield up, but the second one got me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second death was... Uh, okay, this is classic, right? So... You know how you, you're caving and you've collected a bunch of stuff and you have that thought like, I should probably go up and put the stuff away. Yeah. It was literally uh, at that no. moment that the dive bomb creeper fell next to me <laughs> from, the, from the ravine and exploded. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Classic early Minecraft deaths. It sure is. All right, so this is uh, this is a very cool wow, this is a very cool spot, but very noisy with the mobs. <laughs> yeah, I've turned my friendly mob noises down because I got sick of them. That's <laughs> smart. So we are now east, north, sorry, northwest in the Mesa biome. Yeah, and this is a uh, sick elephant spawner trap. Nice. So at the moment, this is I'm gonna steal. A, I'm gonna steal well. a power one bow. There's, there's a, a, more bows over here. Yeah, check over here. So you can probably put there's an what unbreaking three power three. Ooh, yep. there we go. You it'll can need, also it'll need repairing. Yep. But there's plenty of. Oh, you know what I need to do over here? I need to make dispensers. For what? Because it has bows. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, you were right. Oh, man. Although I think I that... the jungle was right here, too. I think that you're allowed to use... Oh, nice. Lag. Very much lag. Yeah. Uh, I think you're allowed to use broken bows to make dispensers now. Yes. Yep. Oh, nice. Which is a game changer. So, yeah, there's jungle over there. Uh, slightly south of the jungle, there's a extreme hills with gravel mountain. Oh, nice. Oh, baby. So I've been uh, getting a lot of that for concrete. You I think you have my, touch? I think my favorite way to get gravel uh, sh shovel, yeah. is actually in the nether. But I only, looked, I only once I have the, wings. I have to have wings I, first. Right. I ran around the nether and I couldn't find any. Uh, and I don't have water breathing to do uh, ocean. So the gravel will help us. But yeah, I, um, I spent a long time here exploring the mine shafts. And yeah. there, I think I mentioned it um, previously that there's three cave spider spawners that might be within range if you stand in the middle. Nice. Is this yeah, a, uh, uh, a water bubble 
bring them up high and then drop them type trap? Yeah, yep. There's a redstone circuit to push them into the water column and then that shoots them up. And how close? So I guess it was pretty close to the surface. Yep, that white um, platform behind the building is the roof of the spawning chamber. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. Okay. Right here. So it's right underneath. Yeah. Nice. How's the uh, single person sleeping? Do you have to still do it twice? Every so often. Well, maybe half the time I end up doing it twice. Yeah, that seems about right. What's this uh, column? Is There's an unexplored cave system in there. Gotcha. So I, I was digging uh, red sand and there's a ton of sinkholes around here. So this is one of the sinkholes that I just ran down in and came back out. Gotcha. Is this mesa allowed to be mined out? Yes. Yep. Yeah. This, the only mesa that's reserved is the island south here. All right. So, so enjoy see. this view, everybody, because it's going to be flattened at some point. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> So, like right here is one cave spider. I think the, th the three are over farther south. I found one. I found another that might be three as well over in the medieval. And two of them are on the same platform, blocks from each other. Oh, nice. Wow. And so I'm, it's the same thing where I don't know if the third one is in range or not, but we've certainly got the two. It used to be really nice to have them high enough up that you could just have them spawn and drop to their death. Yeah. But I think with bubble columns, it's not as important anymore. Yeah. Sorry, I was just running around. <laughs> <laughs> We're following <Bubble> you. <laughs> just like random parkour. Oh, here. Let's go over here. I sh I'll show you something. That's cool. Uh, I think it's over here. It'd be funny if it wasn't. Careful, Sam. It's a trap. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where is it? There's I, I see right a spawner there. right here. Yep. So I think this is the three. In this in this section, there's three. But uh, then I found also a ravine with a regular mine shaft. And this was a sinkhole too. Went along and hmm. almost fell. All right. Well, let me. Uh... Let me bring uh -huh. you guys over to the ice area and show you oh, the yeah. crazy places that I found under the ground. Get out of them. Uh, nice awesome. shot. Yeah, because I'm going to want some ice for the... Yeah, I spent... Uh, I cleared the the ice farm today and converted it all into blue ice. We've got an ice farm? We and do. I, got, I, I uh, cleared the whole farm and I got two blue ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a large ice farm. Well, I should say it's two and seven, not a nine, so <laughs> almost three. So I, I looked in the enchanting table and saw that Silk Touch was what I would get at yep. 30 levels. So I built the ice farm not being able to harvest any. Yeah. But now I can. So I think we'll head over there and I'll harvest my first batch. Awesome. I built a staircase down to the mine shaft area. Is this the one that's right under spawn? Yeah, it's uh, well, not right under spawn, but maybe it stretches all the way there. There's a cave spider spawner like directly under spawn. So this area is like a maze of ravines and mine shaft. And there's a couple spots. I'll have to check my coordinates and stuff to find them. But there's a couple diamond ore areas that I reserved because I wanted to. Ah, I'm at 29 and a half levels. Water bucket ready. Bucket. You can get that back pretty fast. But yeah, it's not safe around here yet. By yeah, there's a bunch of dark spots. Nice. It's it's really endless. I was exploring. Oh, there's a cave spider. He went the wrong way. 
No, we're good. He went the other way. Okay, here we go. First ice of the season. Nice. And it's so cool with efficiency for how fast it goes. And it's so brutal how slow I walk. <laughs> well, when it's frozen over, you just uh, don't do that last row, right? So when it's frozen over, do everything but the last row by the source blocks and then do that last. Yeah, but I was impatient. I just started. Yeah. <laughs> so we can make blue ice out of packed ice now. Can we make packed ice out of regular ice? Yes, it's nine regular ice makes a packed. Oh. Which is, which is why what? you get one blue ice from this entire <laughs> this tray. <whole> <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we've got to find a... Uh, we got to find an iceberg somewhere. I still think it's worth making a monster ice oh, farm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. But those icebergs look so cool, though. That's yeah. why I don't really want to take them down. That's a good point. Yep. All right, thanks for the tour, guys. Yep. Oh, you missed, you missed, you missed. Ha-ha. Stay away. <laughs> I'm out. And I am also out of time for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun hanging out with the other Block Brothers uh, over the last couple of days. And the server doesn't look very pretty yet, but... It's going to start to come along pretty soon. I have a good feeling about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will see you next time on the Block Brothers server. <laughs>